A brawl breaks out in a Texas courtroom after a teenage M victim's family attacks the suspect. Look at that. This guy right here, Victor Nathaniel Rivas, is, he's 18 years old. He's accused of taking out a 15er named Ethan Soto. Yeah, uh, his, another brown on brown, guys. Are, are you guys happy? Hispanic people who like wanted this freaking uh, Marxism crap, this, uh, this, this rampant crime crap, right? It's destroying your own communities. This 15er will never see college, will never see a career, will never see adulthood, will never have kids, will never be able to raise a family, will never be a grandfather because of uh, this guy right here. Look at that. Rampant crime. You guys love it, right? All the all the all the Hispanic Zionists, right? This, this is your ally here with the broccoli haircut, right? Well, so is this guy, but you know, you only got one now, right? Hey, hey you got to settle for this guy. Are we doing zero dollar bail again is the question, right? Are you are the Hispanics going to be pushing for a zero dollar bail to get their essay friend out of jail because, you know, political correctness, right? And equity and stuff like that, right? Yeah, we're going to give him zero dollar bail and he can go out and do it again. And hopefully this time he gets one of the other races, right? So you guys don't hurt yourself. Rivas allegedly popped out Soto as an act of revenge over a, a jacking. Oh, so they're both criminals. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. According to a report from the San Antonio Express, Rivas was in the courtroom waiting for his court to be called when he made an unspecified gesture towards the family. Oh, I bet, it, I bet it was this right here. In response, several of Soto's relatives hopped over the bar, separating the gallery from the suspects and began hitting him. Wow. Good stuff. That's the video right there. I'll play that in a bit. Uh, the fight did not end until a stream of police officers flooded to help the bailiffs who were outnumbered at the time. Oh, outnumbered. Now they're going to limit the number of family members per trial, right? They say here in quotes, two sheriff bailiffs who were inside the courtroom immediately responded to break up the fight. The report explains more family members, including women, became disruptive. Officers, yeah, they, they, but Hispanic women will fight, man. That's, that's always a good girlfriend to have right there because they'll jump in when you get jumped, right? Officers pushed them back, handcuffed at least one of them, and escorted Rivas and other jail inmates out of the courtroom. Wow, what a mess. Responding, I'll, I'll play those in a bit. Responding deputies were able to break up the fight and place into custody four individuals involved in the incident. Oh, no, you guys went to jail too? Wow. Maybe they'll share a cell with them, huh? Rivas attorney, Adam, see, now, now, now look at how, how many lives are ruined because of this rampant crime stuff. All right, yeah, the Zionists, you guys, you guys love this Marxism stuff, right? Yeah, this is your doing. You're the one who made it okay to be a criminal. Okay, don't 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 say, oh no, this has nothing to do with liberal policy. It's San Antonio, Texas. It's a blue county. Okay, holy crap! Responding deputies were able to break up the fight and place the, the four into custody. Rivas' attorney Adam LaHood told the paper that his client is going to be bruised and swollen. Yeah, good, 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 good. I've never seen this happen in court. It all happened in the flash of an eye. The relatives, two men and two teenagers, will now be charged with assault and disrupting court proceedings. Their names have not been released to the media at the time of publishing. Let's watch this glory. Let's go with this one first, right? Top video first. Here we go. Good times. Good times in court. Oh, yeah. 